Okay, so don't be mad at me, but I've been lying to you the last 10 days. Everything you saw on my social media was fake. Secured the goods. Is it mukbang or mukbang? Because not sure, but we're doing it anyway. I have secured so many goods that I don't even know if I'll be able to have all the goods, but yeah. Finally got my appetite back. I have been craving Japanese food. Um, I got a miso soup, a, what did I get? <laughs> I got miso soup, I got edamame, I got fresh wasabi and ginger. I got king prawn tempura. I got inari for dessert. I got salmon nigiri. I got this like chicken uh, roll. It was called the Mont Blanc roll. It sounded really cool. Baby avo, baby cucumber. Gyoza. <laughs> also the fact that they gave me four chopsticks because they think that I'm sharing between four people. Also, I love that they've used Biopack. Y'all, this edamame looks really cool. It's like garlic edamame. Oh! I can't have any spicy food yet. Sad. Oh my God, it's spicy. Wow, that miso soup is so good. All right, let's start with questions. The reason I hit it last week and the reason that I did that is because I wasn't actually sure if I wanted to share what I was going through with you guys. Just because I guess you never really know how it's gonna be received. So I, yeah, I guess that's why I did it. Just in case I didn't wanna share it with you guys. Oh my god, I just realized that Summy's follower, followers count is 2222. Two, two, two. This always happens to me. I always see like, I've been seeing double numbers everywhere. I always see 111 and 222, but now I've been seeing like double numbers. Like I'll look at my Fitbit and it'll say 1212 or 1010 or 303 or, three or it's weird. Anyway, so first things first, I look so butchered right now. I'll explain everything that I'm going through. But don't judge me on how I look. <laughs> so much is going to change still. Hang on. Um, oh my god. Yeah. I've got it kind of hurts to chew still. I'm going to say thank you before I start answering questions. Because I have received thousands of messages of support and people being grateful for my transparency and loving messages and like just like girl gang that we've created love it it's just women who support women you know it's... first question okay wait when did you get this done and how have you been hiding it <laughs> i filmed twice the amount of content in 10 days so every day for the week before i got this done the week and a half before i got this done i was filming like two or three times of daily content. So just like regular stories and backing up content and um, doing all my work so that I could post every day during um, my recovery, the first week of my recovery, because I didn't know if I actually wanted to share this yet. So that's kind of why I did that. While I like mulled over whether or not I was gonna share it. So, yeah, it felt so weird. Oh my God, I hated it. I hated not sharing how I was feeling at the time. And I think every day realizing how much it sucked not being open with you guys. I was like, fuck, I need to be open with them. I would wanna see that from creators that I follow. So I wanna give you that too. Um, so yeah, that's how I did it. So pretty much, Every single piece of content that you saw from Monday last week, the, I think it was the 12th, everything was a lie up until Sunday. I'm sorry. I'm really sorry, don't hate me. So this is what I've looked like for the last week. 
Um, the, the day was the worst. I'm, I'm about to have the prawn tempura. Do I dip the prawn thing? Should I have it by itself first? Hang on. Oh no, don't have it by itself. Go you, don't worry about any negativity. Do you? Love you, boo. Oh my God, how good is a peach iced tea? Okay, so a lot of people were asking for before and afters. Um, I obviously have taken a before photo. I have a million of those, but I haven't really taken like an after photo yet. And the reason I haven't done that is because I, um, could, how do I open this? This isn't actually the final result yet. So this is going to go down by about a third in the size that it is. This part here, the longer part at the front, that's going to jump back up. Like this is all still so swollen and I'm bruised in my eye and everything. So, um, the reason I haven't taken a after photo is for that reason, because it really isn't the after yet. Can I just say this looks insane. I don't even know how to eat it. Oh my God. What the hell? There's like cheese in that. Oh my God, that is so bad for you, but so good. I will put my before here and then I'll turn my head. So obviously this isn't the final, final thing, but as you can see, like there's more of a little scoop here. And once that goes up, that's what she'll look like. Jamie who says it already looks so good and suits your face perfectly. <laughs> Which doctor did you go to? A disclaimer. Just because I went to this surgeon doesn't mean that that's who you have to go to. I think surgeons are a very personal thing. Um, I did a lot of research when I found my surgeon. I didn't just go to the first one that I found. Um, I didn't go to the ones that were more popular. I got a few people's opinions first. And when I saw him, I just kind of clicked and I was like, yeah, this is the person that I'm going to be doing my surgery with. So you really kind of just have to go with your, your gut feeling as well. But, uh, his name is Dr. Scott Turner. He is located in Bondi and DY. He was so lovely. He told me he like, before I even told him exactly what I wanted, he was telling me things that were ticking the boxes in my head of what I wanted a surgeon to tell me. So before I went in there, um, I had like seen surgeons before who were like, who were basically telling me that I needed to get this done and that done and you know, why don't you do this? And no, you should, may, may as well just like fix your whole nose and blah, blah, blah. One person said something very offensive and I was like, wow. You go in and say, oh, I just want to fix that because that is your choice. That is what you want. And I understand that they have professional advice that they can give you, but when they become pushy with it, it's a little bit concerning. Like there are so many questions. Can you look at all of this? So a lot of the questions kind of are the same thing in a way of like, you know, what did you get done and blah, blah, blah. I'm gonna try to like condense all of the questions as much as possible. For example, there are a lot of these questions saying like, what exactly did you get? I didn't actually get a full nose job. I only got a mini nose job. So I got a tip plasty. So that was only a tip reconstruction. I didn't actually break my nose, which is what happens when you get a full rhinoplasty. Also this mukbang thing goes against my main thing, which is like, don't talk with your mouth full. How am I supposed to bloody answer any questions? I knew that that's what I had wanted for years. You can do like a little bit of a shave, which is what I did as well, but there's no breaking of any bones. Oh, and I also did my eye. I had like one eye that was like, my eyelid was sitting a little bit lower than the other. And he was like, oh my God, I can fix that for you. If that's something that bothers you. He was like, I don't think that you necessarily need that done, but if that's something that bothers you, we can definitely do that. Absolute legend. So that's what I had done on my eye as well. Um, so I definitely recommend Scott. A lot of people asking about pricing. Um, obviously every single person is going to have a different 
price from my understanding just because this is how much i paid doesn't mean that this is how much you're going to pay you might pay more or you might pay less um it's just unique to what you're getting done um so for me with the cost of the doctor's fee the surgeon fee which is for scott for uh the anesthetist and the hospital fee it was so in total it cost me twelve thousand eight hundred and seventy three dollars so i would recommend before going in <clears throat> to seeing a surgeon write down a list of what it is that you want to change try to find an image or something even if you can like edit your own image to show um that's what i did so i took a photo of what my nose would look like on my face um and then also write out what you want them to tell you so for example i had a few things that i knew i wanted to hear from a surgeon and that's how i knew that they would be the right surgeon so i saw about three surgeons before i went with scott it was the only one that said exactly what I wanted to hear in terms of the fact that he was like you don't need a full rhinoplasty all we need to do is fix this fix that blah 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 and he showed me before i even showed him the image of what i wanted my nose to look like he edited it on his screen said and showed me exactly what i had already done on that photo of myself so that showed me that we were in really good alignment and he understood my wants and needs and he felt really trustworthy as well. So we covered who it is, we covered what I did, uh, we've covered the cost, we've covered before and after recovery. So a lot of you were asking me about how long recovery will be. So I am now on my 10th day. Recovery is actually up to three months, um, but the overall shape of the nose will continue to change and get better over the next 12 months. So it is a really long process. Um, I'm getting really full, by the way. Can we also just have a moment to discuss how bloody good just like plain, like baby roll avocado is? Bloody hell. Did that... Did that... <laughs> oh my God, someone's booked to have hers done soon. Wow. Good luck, girlfriend. Message me if you need me. Roughly how long did it take from your first appointment to surgery? Like what the wait time was. So my first appointment was on the 1st of July. I was actually booked to get it done sooner than that. But then I got booked to go away on that work trip. So I um, had to push it back. So only two months, which was really, really good. So what I'm seeing a lot of as well is like, what did I want to change on my nose? Basically, I didn't like how round my nose was at the top at the front of my face I felt like I just would have rather it be a little bit more Pointy, I think I have a lot. I like all my features on my face. Like I have a really small face um, And I just felt like my tip was really bulbous bulbous sure um, So I guess I just wanted to fix the tip. This has just been something that I've wanted to change since I was like 15 or 16 um I'm not saying that if you have a nose similar to what I used to have, now you need to go and like, it's not that that was bad. It's just, it was really cute. I liked my nose. It was a really cute, beautiful little nose, but I just preferred how this made my face look. I feel like it just made me lifted my face a little bit. So yeah. Keen to see it healed. Did you use anyone as inspo? I used an edited photo of myself for inspo. <laughs> I literally went on like Photoshop and just like edited my nose to what I would love for it to look like. Also, I'm so full. How bad does it hurt? And so proud of you for being honest. We only have one life. It's yours. Thanks, boo. Oh my god, yum. It hurt like hell. That day, I was in a lot of pain, but... I, so I actually hate the feeling of anesthetic. I hate that like out of it feeling. So I had a lot of anxiety that day coming out of surgery. And on that day going into surgery, like the third day, oh my God, I will show you a photo. 
I was so swollen and so painful. Like last week, I reckon was the worst week of my life. I was in so much pain. I was crying constantly, which makes it worse because when you cry, you get like snuffly. Oh my God, it was horrible. And then all the painkillers were giving me really bad anxiety and it was a really bad week. Can you exercise? No. So I have to wait six weeks, five more weeks to exercise. Um, but I have been going for walks the last two days, two, three days. What did your family and the people around you think? I think my dad was like, that's offensive. I made that noise. <laughs> dad was funny about it. Mum didn't mind. Um, and the really close people to me were kind of like, you know what, like you've wanted this for so long. Like go you for actually doing it. Like good on you, like proud of you kind of thing. How often would my nose affect my confidence? Every single day but it really bothered me looking at photos of myself and videos of myself. It's just something that I've, I've had in the back of my mind for years and, and not because of what people were saying to me. It was just that I knew internally that this is something that was gonna make me feel so much more confidence within myself. And if you have the ability to do something like that for yourself, as long as you're doing it for no one else and it is only for you, then why not do that? Why not make yourself a priority and do that if that's something that you wanna get done? How long would you recommend taking for annual leave? Um, so I've taken off two weeks, um, so no shooting for two weeks. I'm actually doing one thing on Tuesday, which I shouldn't be doing, but anyway. I would say two weeks downtime for sure, because last week was really bad. This week is bad, but like not so much. So by next week, I think it's gonna be great. So definitely minimum two weeks because you've got this, you've got the cast and the um, tape on your nose for two weeks in total. So come Monday, I think it'll change. For my eye, I think um, that the swell, like it's obviously still really swollen and low. I'm thinking another one to two weeks for that one. I just wanna say, if you have sent me a message, I'm reading every single one of them and I love you. Genuinely, from the bottom of my heart, I'm really, really grateful for every single one of you and how absolutely beautiful your messages of support have been. Like, I wish I could meet you all. We need to find a way to meet. How can we meet? <laughs> um, anyway. This girl, people say my nose is fine, but I hate the tip. I'm scared to do surgery. Girlfriend, do what's best for you. Who cares about what anyone else thinks? This girl, Sholin. Hi, sis. Um, I hope I'm saying that right. How much was it and is it scary? I only want the tip of my nose done. And now you know that's what I got. <laughs> Um, so yeah, I spent, I guess like between 12 to 13,000. Is it scary? Yes. Is it worth it? Yes. Do you think you'll ever regret it? No. Did you get Medicare to cover it? No. You can get Medicare to cover it if it is a medical issue. You can do that if you have a deviated septum or if there is like something obstructing your full, um, breathing passage or whatever. I like I could have done that if I wanted to, but I didn't have that. It wasn't that much of a like I, I'm I'm breathing fine. The cost that it would have added on, it's just like not worth it. You know what I mean? And also I'm just like such a pain. Like why bother trying to do that and go through all that extra internal surgery just to get like a few thousand dollars off? It's just not worth it for me. So proud of you opening up about it. Thanks, Sammy. I'm desperate to get a nose job. It's my biggest insecurity. How did you pick a surgeon? Um, a lot of the time I went straight to reviews and saw like the before and afters and what people have said, um, like Google reviews and stuff like that because Google and Facebook reviews can't be deleted. So if there's any bad ones there, they're there. Dr. Turner was amazing. He had like no bad reviews. Not a nose related question, but you're a babe and such an inspiration. Thank you for being you. Thanks, Laws. Love you. This girl said the price always scares her off. Look, yeah, like that scared me off for a lot of years, but just save up. I feel like it's such a priority thing. Like if the cost scares you, then maybe you don't want it as bad as you thought you did. Because as soon as, I, I didn't even care about the cost. I was like, I just want to get it done. So whatever you're saying the cost is going to be, I'll do it because the act of doing it was more important to me than how much money it would cost. Are you, are you not low-key offended someone guessed it? <laughs> no. 
So what I'm doing with healing at the moment, so I've been taking Arnica tablets, which I actually haven't taken them yesterday. I'll take them today. Um, they help with bruising and swelling um, and they are a natural remedy for bruising and swelling. I've been putting Hiridoid on my bruises here. I've been putting Vaseline on my little scar and my eye and I will start putting on the scar treatment in about a week. I didn't get to wash my face or run my face underwater for a week and it was the worst week of my life. I love my skincare, like doing my skincare every morning and every night and running my head under the water in the shower is just like the best feeling for me. It is so healing. I will never take my skincare routine for granted again. <laughs> I think I've covered everything. I'm in a very incredibly lucky position where I have had the chance to save up that much money and you know there are ways to go around it if you don't have the money you could find a way to pay it off monthly there are companies out there that can offer you help in that way or maybe you can put it on a credit card and pay that off monthly there are a lot of options out there um, but my first point of advice would be to go and talk to a couple surgeons anyway um, because that will give you a good idea of where to start. I had so much anxiety sharing this on the internet. And I had, like, I literally that day, I was like, do I do this? Like, worrying about other people's judgments and what other people might say and what articles are going to come out and being worried about seeing one bad comment and getting to my head. But you know what? Fuck them. Because at the end of the day, it is my life. My self-love isn't dependent on what someone might think. Yes, there are people in my life that I care about their opinion, but not enough for that to actually change a decision that I'm gonna make for me. Nothing that anyone could say to me was gonna change my mind. Because at the end of the day, I knew that this is what I wanted. And I'm a strong enough person to say that I don't give a fuck about what anyone else thinks because this is what I want and this is what I want to do. I am my own person. I make my own money. I run two businesses. And if this is something that I believe is going to, you know, help me internally and make me feel better internally, then yeah, I'm going to do it because I can. So if anyone ever tries to get you down, you make sure you have your own back and you have the courage to be disliked and be confident within yourself enough to say well this is what i'm getting done and unfortunately it's not your nose or whatever you want to fix it's not it's not theirs to choose it's yours so remember that i hope you all loved my first mukbang um i'm pretty sure i covered all the questions but if i didn't um send me a message and i will reply to your question directly if i didn't cover it in the video oh be real it's crazy to think that I have actually already done it because um, it's been such a big thing for like such a big part of my life. Something that I've always been like, you know, I'd love to get this done one day and then I just never have because of money and because of this and because of that. So, yeah, I just can't believe it. And I can't believe how like positive the response has been. It's been bloody so nice. I guess that's the end of my little q and I'm going to do a little skincare or hair one soon once this thing is off my face. Um, I just do a little fit check while I'm here. So this set is Kavari, the knit set. And the top, if you go on my LTK, I have a profile and I've linked the top. So make sure you go check that out. I can buy it by there. That's kind of the update. I feel like as for like other stuff going on, I feel like it's just going to be like a really nice week at home. Someone special gave me a Squishmallow, which was really lovely, which I love so much. She's a nurse. Her name is Astra. <laughs> but yeah, I guess as for that, I've just been reading. I've been reading a book called Dear Lover, which is really actually like a really interesting book. It's all about sitting in like masculine and feminine energy in relationships and all about like loving deeply and all that kind of stuff that's been an interesting read i guess that's kind of it don't be mad at me for keeping it from you and lying to you for that week but anyway i'm gonna go edit this so i can get it live this weekend do i do a cheese as well? <laughs>